What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at exercises for the tibial nerve. So if you have numbness, tingling, or pain that goes down the back of your leg, into your calf region, maybe down into the sole of your foot, then these will be exercises for you to implement. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Tom Walters and I'm an orthopedic physical therapist. Again, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at exercises for the tibial nerve. Now, just for a quick anatomy review, the tibial nerve is a branch of our sciatic nerve which starts in our low back. So we have our lumbar nerve roots that come out of our low back. They form together going down the buttock region, through the back of the leg, through the hamstring region. So we have the sciatic nerve running there. In the back of the knee, which is called the popliteal fossa, our sciatic nerve branches into two nerves. One is called the common peroneal nerve and it goes over here to the side of the leg and the top of the foot. The, the tibial nerve, which is the other branch, goes over to the calf muscle. So it goes underneath the calf muscles, goes down to the inside of the ankle and into the bottom of the foot. I've already done a video on the peroneal nerve. I'll put the link for it down in the description if you have those type of symptoms. Today we're gonna look at the tibial nerve, which is gonna focus on numbness, tingling, pain through the calf region, radiating down into the arch of the foot. So if you've got symptoms in those areas, stay tuned for the exercises in this video. Okay, so we're gonna look at two nerve mobilizations for the tibial nerve. The first mobilization will be less stressful to the nerve. So if you're starting out and your symptoms are a little more acute, start here. If this mobilization is really easy for you and reproduces none of your symptoms, then you can go to the second mobilization. So this first one is called a straight leg raise mobilization and we're gonna bias it towards our tibial nerve. So what you're gonna do here, I'm gonna pretend like the symptoms are on my right leg. I'm going to lie on my back with my left leg straight. I'm gonna reach behind my hamstring region with my hands and just kind of hold here to keep my hip at about 90 degrees of flexion. And then what I'm gonna do as my knee straightens, this is gonna put my sciatic nerve and its branches on tension, including the tibial nerve. So what I wanna do from here to really bias the tibial nerve, I'm going to move my ankle into dorsiflexion. So I'm gonna pull it down, pull my toes kind of towards my nose. I'm also gonna extend my toes and then I'm gonna evert my ankle. So I'm gonna turn it out like this. Okay, so that's going to help bias that tibial nerve as it runs down my calf and the inside of my ankle into my arch. So ankle dorsiflexion, toe extension, and ankle eversion. Now that's gonna put a bunch of tension on, this, on the tibial nerve. So when I do that, I'm gonna bend my knee a little bit to reduce some of the tension up here uh, at the back of my knee. So what I'm gonna do to mobilize that nerve, I'm gonna alternate between these two positions. So when my knee straightens, I'm gonna point, in my, I'm gonna point my ankle which puts tension at the back of my knee and relaxes the nerve at my ankle. And then when I bend my knee, I'm gonna pull my ankle and toes up and evert my ankle. So I'm gonna go back and forth like that to help mobilize the nerve. So just take it nice and slow at first. It's a lot of movements to coordinate. So you've kind of got to figure out exactly what you're doing. So think about when my knee straightens, I point my ankle. When my knee bends, I pull my ankle back, pull my toes back and evert my ankle. So you've got kind of three movements with your ankle, toes, and uh, your foot when you come down to target the tibial nerve. You're gonna think about doing 10 to 15 reps of this and then giving it a break. We wanna be careful not to do too much when it comes to nerve mobilizations because they can increase nerve pain if you do too much. So maybe just start with a, 10, a set of 10 to 15 reps and then just see how you do throughout the day. If it helps and you're doing fine, then you could add another set or two uh, each day. So maybe you do three sets total. Okay, so that is our first tibial nerve mobilization in the straight leg raise position. The second mobilization is gonna be a bit more stressful on the nerve. So if you could do the first one, no problem, then you can go to this one. In this one, we're gonna be in what's called the slump position, which means we're going to kind of slump and slouch in our back. This tensions the spinal cord and the nerves coming out of the low back, which is ultimately gonna put more tension on the sciatic nerve and on the tibial nerve. So to do this one, you're gonna put your arms behind your back and slouch down to start with. And then again, I'm working on mobilizing the tibial nerve on my right leg. So I'm going to straighten that knee. That's gonna tension the sciatic nerve already. So just be careful with straightening. You might not be able to go all the way to full extension, just find the spot that works for you. And then we're gonna do the same movements with our ankle, ankle dorsiflexion, 
pull the toes up, toe extension, and then turn your ankle out, which again is called ankle eversion. So what I'm gonna do, right here I've got a bunch of tension on my tibial nerve. When my ankle's in this position, I'm gonna kinda sit up and look up, which relaxes, takes tension off my spinal cord and the lumbar nerve roots, and then I'm gonna alternate. So when my ankle points, I'm gonna put my head down and round my spine, and then go back up again. Ankle dorsiflexion, toe extension, turn the ankle out, sit up and look up, and then go back. So again, like the first mobilization, you've gotta go slow with this at first just so you can figure out all the different movements. But this will help, both these nerve mobilizations are flossing mobilizations, so they will help the nerve glide and slide, which can help reduce pain, numbness, tingling, and help improve blood flow to the nerve. So again, think about 10 to 15 reps, and then when you're done, just kinda take a break. See how you do for a few hours after that. If everything's good, then you can try another set later in the day. Okay, so those are both of our nerve mobilization or flossing exercises for the tibial nerve. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you find these exercises to be helpful. If you need a more comprehensive program, the low back chapter in my book has a nerve pain program that guides you through three phases of rehab. All of the programs in my book have pictures of me doing the exercises and again, guide you through three phases. So stretching exercises, mobility exercises, and strengthening exercises in each program. Besides my book, if you uh, don't want pictures for the rehab programs, I also have all these programs in app form. So my app has uh, programs for each body region. In the back rehab programs, you'll see there is this nerve pain program. And it, like the book, will take you through three phases. But instead of having pictures of the exercises, you'll see me uh, performing the exercise in video format, which in a lot of cases is easier when you're learning exercises. So if you uh, would like to learn more about these resources, I will put links for both of them down in the description. Thanks again for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.